Good morning. Thank you very much to all of you to be here in Argentina. For us, it's a big pleasure to be host for you here. And ladies, we give you the official welcome to this event. Um, I am the CEO today of Group Insur. Insur, the name Insur is the acronym. The acronym comes, is built for the initials of three words, which is innovation, sustainability, and development. And these three words means the core of most of our values in our company. As Fernando was telling before, we work in three activities, life science, agroforest activity, and cultural activities. I will speak only about life science. In life science, we have, again, three divisions. One division in which our business is B2B, we call chemo company. In this case, we produce API and finished products with that we sell to pharmaceutical labs. We have 1,600 worldwide. We export to 120 countries. In the, we have another business, which is the business B2C. The business B2C is under the name of Excelpis. We have branded companies in 46 countries in all the continents. And finally, we have the, our biotech company, but under the name of Map Science, in which we produce monoclonal antibodies and recombinant proteins. In this activity, we have a cooperation with the WHO and with UCAB. UCAB is the Trade Center for Affordable Biosimilars. It was an institute built in the University of Trent with the purpose to, of, to supply biopharmaceuticals in to countries to which it's very difficult to obtain by the price of the biopharmaceuticals. And we did an agreement with WHO and UCAB for the production of pavirizumab. Pavirizumab, it is a monoclonal antibody to use in the syncytial respiratory disease. Syncytial respiratory disease today is the third reason of death of illness in uh, newborn kids, mainly premature kids. Today, most of the developing countries cannot supply the medicine to the kids by the reason of the price, and we engage together with WHO and UCAM to uh, reduce dramatically the price of the product. We did a consortium with many companies in different countries. Our responsibility is to develop the um, API and to develop the clinical trial, and after we get the engagement to transfer the technology to all the companies with the great this consortium. In this consortium also participates our the NGO Mundosano in English World Health. Mundosano is an NGO in which we support. Uh, is a, a NGO uh, founded by our family that we work in neglected diseases. Uh, we have five uh, uh, houses in Argentina, one in Spain and three in Africa, and uh, we dedicate it mainly to work in neglected diseases, and here in Argentina, mainly to work in child diseases. Um, all this activity is done for 5,500 employees, with 16 factories in different countries of the world. Uh, one of our activities that we started in 2012 with other Argentine partners was the foundation of Synergy Biotech, the company that hosts you here in Argentina. Really, Synergy is very interesting was the origin of Synergy Biotech. I don't know if you remember that in 2009, in the epidemic of flu, at the beginning, all our countries were not able to receive vaccines. The vaccines were produced by a few companies in the world, and all the quantity that was produced was addressed to central countries. No ever 
developing country receive vaccines. And when this happens, we realize two things. First one, we see our weakness. We see that our possibility to have health security was not real because we were not able to receive vaccines. And also, the other thing that we realize is that really we have not technological sovereignty. And then this was the, st the stimulation for us to propose to our authorities to found a company to produce vaccines. What was the proposal that we gave to the authority? We said the following. You are buying regular vaccines. We propose to you to give a long-term contract for a company if the company introduce the technology in the country, invest money in the company, and create employment of high level in the country. Then the government did a tender. We have in this moment no technology. I have a good friend in Novartis. I call my friend in Novartis and said, are you ready to join us to transfer the technology to our company in the case that the government give us a long-term contract? You will lose the profit of your technology, but you will receive a long-term contract to sell the product for 10 years. Novartis has said, we did a joint venture with Novartis, the tender was done, we won the tender, and in my opinion, this is a good example of what could be public-private cooperation. Because in this case, the state doesn't spend money. The state, the only thing that they do is to use their purchase power to us, companies, to invest, to incorporate technology, and to create new jobs. And it is what happened. After that, Synergion did an agreement with Pfizer for the production of the vaccine, with Merck for the production of the HPV vaccine. And in this moment, we have a strong cooperation with American company Protein Science, in which we are working in the, the in one of the groups, another group who are working in the development of Zika vaccine. We are working in a, in a joint venture in which is Protein Science, a Mexican company Leomont, and a Japanese company UM, UMN, and our company. And all this group together is working in a recombinant vaccine for Zika. This is, uh, I think that all the groups that we are working at the end, one of, of all these groups will obtain a good solution for the Zika problem. Um, well, um, really, uh, I don't want to be long with the introduction of our group, but only the, the, what I want to, to tell to all of you is that we are very happy to have you here because we think that this organization uh, will give us warranty to associate us, to, to have cooperation between us. I think that uh, it is a good model in which all together we can recover for our country's sovereignty, we can recover for, for our country's health security, and we can build together new things for improving the health Thank you very much to you, and now I will introduce Dr. Jorge Lemos.